Hi, my name is Nick Robinson. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. I'm so excited that you're joining us for today's episode where we're going to learn how to make Costa's authentic Greek octopus salad. Costa comes from Sherbrooke Fish. He's gonna take us to his store and show us how to pick the best octopus for this salad. Now, you know, I've had octopus in restaurants where it's chewy, it's just really unpleasant to eat. You know, can you tell us how to make your make sure that your octopus just doesn't turn out that way? It's buying the right octopus. Highly recommended is the Tunisian octopus. It's one of the best in the world and tenderizing it so it doesn't get tough. So how does one tenderize an octopus? Well, What's the first thing? It's a simple procedure. All you have to do is uh, boil it with some red wine vinegar, bay leaves, and black peppercorns. And we don't have to cut or do anything to the octopus? Uh, not at the moment right now, but I'll be showing you some of the tricks that I use to make the salad. All right, so let's let's take it over to the pot. So what temperature do I need to be putting my stove on? We'll start off with high. Okay. So we don't have that many ingredients, but I'm sure there must be an order with which we put them in the pot. I start with the uh, peppercorns bay leaves and then the uh, red wine vinegar. So do you have to wait for the water to boil before you put the octopus in? I usually put it directly in, put it on high, get it going. Once it starts uh, simmering or boiling, turn it down. It usually takes about a half an hour to 45 minutes. And the best way to find out if it's ready, you use your pochette stick or a uh, toothpick and poke through it. When you see it pokes through easily, it's ready. So Costa, it's been about 10 minutes now and it's clearly boiling. We should turn it down to about medium. And how much more time are we It'll leaving? It'll be around for? 15 to 20 minutes. It also depends on the size of the octopus. And now we cover it again? Cover it again. Perfect. Now how do we know it's ready? We check on the thickest part of the octopus. See how it's going through compared to before? Yeah. So it's ready. Terrific, let's plate it. So now that our octopus is finally cooked, we're gonna learn how to make Costa's famous octopus salad. It's one of my favorites in the store and everyone I serve it to is a raving fan. Um, and it's not that hard to make. We don't need that many ingredients. No. What goes into your salad? We start off with some oregano, some red onions chopped up, capers, uh, vinegar, Salt, pepper, and a little olive oil. I'll cut off one of the legs. And now that it's been tenderized, you see a huge difference, eh? It's like cutting yeah. through butter. Cut into small pieces. So you know those little suction cups from the octopus? Those are actually some of my favorite parts of the whole salad. I like cutting up the head and putting it in there too. So you just use the whole octopus? The whole, octopus, the whole thing. Yeah. So Costa, I noticed you had two kinds of vinegar out. You had white vinegar and a balsamic vinegar. Yeah, it's a matter of choice. Uh, you could add red balsamic vinegar, white balsamic vinegar, the regular white vinegar, or even just a little lemon juice. So now we're ready to add the rest of the ingredients. Yep. Let's do that. Even though I'm not Greek, do you mind if I do the honors of pouring the oil? Sure, go right ahead. Now tell me how much? I think that's good. Don't forget the pepper. It looks like you're about to beat up the octopus, <laughs> but we, we already tenderized it. Sweet. That's all good, and we'll mix it up. Okay. This is our octopus salad. Thank you so much for watching us today. Join us again on watchmojo.com. My name's Nick Robinson, and you can find me with some other recipe ideas on anickarts.com.